This is Chef Christian Costantino of Just Hooked in Fenwick Island. Thank you for coming in today. Thank you very much for having me. What are we making? So uh, we are doing shishmi encrusted tuna uh, with charred broccoli, sugar snap peas, some red kulusari rice, a gochujang fennel kimchi, and a green onion ponzu. <laughs> and that's just the first thing, right? That's just the first that's thing. That's the oh. first one. <laughs> oh, okay. Man. All right. Well, let's get to it. What do we need to do here? Um, so over here we have our tuna. I'm going to have you go ahead and season that very graciously with salt. And then okay. just one side in the shishimi. Shishimi is a seven ingredient uh, spice seasoning, which consists of chili, citrus, um, dried seaweed, and sometimes uh, sesame seeds and bonita flake. Um, is that what he, he's putting salt on it. Does okay. it matter how much of it I actually get on the? See, see chefs do it really yeah, high. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's all just, It actually helps it spread out evenly because as it falls, it disperses. So it actually see, does have a was, purpose. That's not why he was doing no, it, though. But he was see, just showing off. Yeah. He was doing it sarcastically. Yeah, I think he was, too. <laughs> okay, and you said just one side. And just one side, just like that. That's right. Okay, and then what? And then you pass then it right to here. me, right? We want to make sure whenever we're searing meat, there's a lot of natural sugars inside of our meats we want to caramelize so it's important that we bring our pan almost to a smoke point which you can see now okay, okay. so if you want to go ahead and put it right in that back pan the right one? there yep and, and you caught lay it away from you yep spice right. side down lay it down softly away from you always just like that could have done better, better myself <laughs> and our other pan once again we have our hot oil ready to go mm -hmm. we want to give our broccoli same thing a little bit of caramelization because there's a lot of sugars in there we want those cells to break down release those sugars and cook them through to you develop don't think flavor. Of broccoli and sh sugar being in broccoli. Yeah, no kidding. But um, the biggest thing we like to do at our restaurants is develop flavors and textures yeah. and the different kinds of contrasting flavors. Um, my favorite way to go about it is something salty, something fat, um, something spicy, and something acidic. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of what we've done in this dish. We have our tuna and our rice for our fat. We have our spice and our fennel kimchi. We have our acidity and our uh, ponzu. Right. And we have our saltiness in the soy sauce in the ponzu. Okay. So overall, we have a nice little collection of flavors and textures. So you're going to turn do all that of our tuna medium rare. Ah, so look at roughly that. Roughly about 45 seconds. Ooh, that's popping broccoli. Yes, it is. So why do I want to spice both sides of the tuna? So we developed a little bit of flavor in our broccoli. We're going to put our sugar snap peas in. We don't want them to cook too much because we want them to retain their bite. OK. What was that question? Why, why, <laughs> why, do I, why don't I want to spice both sides of the tuna? Is well, that just too much? It's a really. Um, Flavor prevalent salt or um, seasoning. We really want the tuna flavor to oh, also okay. be kind of available. Gotcha. Um, okay. So red kulusari rice is an in-harvest specific grain from a seed bank in Baltimore that actually goes and grows in California, and it is a whole grain unprocessed um, kernel. So it's chock full of magnesium um, and zinc and a lot of really good other minerals and vitamins, mm. full of antioxidants. Springtime for me is a great time of the year to start cooking with a lot of health-conscious items, yeah. and this dish really lets us do that. A little bit of our ponzu. What is ponzu? So ponzu is a citrus-based um, seasoning, mm -hmm. usually containing rice wine vinegar, your herbs, orange, lemon, lime, kudzu. It's got a great smell to it, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. Really does. And this dish is actually part of our spring menu. It just took in Fenwick, and we've gotten great reviews from it. It's right. my personal favorite. So our tuna. But now she's reached a nice medium rare. Whoa, <laughs> we're really cooking. Okay, we got everything off yep. there. So you're not done with that yet. Nope, we're gonna cut it, we're gonna plate it right up. <laughs> now why do you always do that? Um, so this is a honer, and what it does is it straightens your knife, it doesn't actually sharpen it. Oh. It's good for maintaining the edge of your knife and not losing it. Wow, you've never, never so even you, heard of that. So yep. you should do that every time you... Before and after every use. Ah. So we come over here with broccoli and our rice. I just, uh, it, the smells are amazing. In the spring onion ponzu, we use young garlic and spring onion mm -hmm. as our base and add everything else. So it's got some really, really nice kick to it as well too. Our tuna. Okay. And then a little bit of our house-made fennel kimchi. <sighs> it's been curing, it's, um, I'm sorry, it's been fermenting for about two weeks now. So you definitely need a little bit of kick to it. Yeah, I guess that wouldn't be something we could do during the show. No, no. Then we have some fresh toasted sesame seed and a little bit of micro spicy greens that we get from Baywater Farms. And those are packed full of all kinds of good stuff too, right? Absolutely. That's almost too pretty to eat, Yeah, Jimmy. no kidding. Yeah. But that's not gonna but stop good. us. But it's good, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna eat it anyway. <laughs> so uh, you, you ready, show, you ready yeah. to taste can, this, Can we Jimmy? just jump in there? Yeah, just jump in there. Do I need to get a knife or, or will it, uh, you know what, I'm just gonna start with the broccoli. <laughs> there you go. All right, 
I'm so, going in for the tuna. Chef, uh, since uh, you've got us so busy here, would you do me a favor? Absolutely. Would you say Delmarva Life will be right back? Delmarva Life will be right back.